Toastmasters welcome guest, Manuel. Connecting the dots, persuasive approach. The uh, persuasive approach is really based on two things. It's based on facts and it is based on emotions. To be successful, you have to have the type of personality that makes people want to listen and also you want them to be neutral. So when you're starting off, if you're trying to persuade the audience, what you want them to do is at least give you a fair chance. And your personality certainly does that. The other thing is you have high energy. So what comes across is this is important. So the audience says, okay, I've got to listen because of your personality and because of the high energy that you present they're now open to whatever suggestions you have. <clears throat> you also, what you did correct, was you also provided some uh, sources, proof sources. And one of them was Russell Peters. <laughs> Everyone, that's a, that's a hard one to argue against, right? Like just him. <laughs> and you had a wonderful story. I mean, this was really based on wonderful stories. And his was the background of the doctor. <clears throat> like, you know, if it's an Indian doctor, well, mm, maybe not, right? Not sure it was fair to Indian doctors. But also, the, the, the next one, of course, who can now argue with Jobs, right? Steve Jobs. And, and basically, that's where you come across the concept of connecting the dots, connect the dots going forward, not going back. And that story about Steve Jobs and, and dropping out of university. Then you had what was required, and it was a call to action. You really want us to be mentors for young people so they know what, so they learn what they want to do with their lives. That's all the good stuff. One thing, so what I would like to have seen is, I was actually confused by the handout. It, uh, I had two problems with the handout from my perspective. One was, in reality, the timer should have started from the time you got up here and as soon as you spoke. So you probably spent three minutes of your seven minutes with the handout. That was one point. The other point was, what was the point of the handouts? They really did not relate to the task at hand, in my opinion, right? Because you're trying to convince us to become mentors for the young people. And you give a handout about an evaluation you had, so it really didn't, didn't do anything for your speech. Also, you're required to have a visual aid, and the handout will not qualify as a visual aid. I, I'm sort of expecting to see an actual visual aid. Um, I thought maybe something like a quote about, you know, and I'm sure it's out there somewhere, where people who know what they want to be early in life become more successful than those who don't. 